In this video, we will discuss the differences between soldering and brazing operation. So, the very first difference for soldering, these are the weakest joint, not to bear the weight, generally used to make electrical contacts. So, here you can see the soldering operation. So, the soldering operation produces weakest joint. It is not used to bear the weight and it is generally used to make the electrical contacts. So, here you can see the soldering operation is used for making the electrical contacts. For brazing, these are stronger than soldering but also weaker than welding. It can be used to bear some load. So the brazing operation, whatever joint produced with the brazing, that is stronger than the soldering joint but it is weaker than the welding joint. And uh, it can be used to bear some load. Here you can see the brazing operation. Now next difference for soldering, temperature required up to 450 degrees Celsius. So in soldering, the maximum temperature reach that is 450 degrees Celsius. The brazing, it may go up to 600 degrees Celsius in brazing. So the maximum temperature that can be reached that is 600 degrees Celsius in brazing. So here you can see up to this point, up to this temperature that is soldering temperature beyond this up to this that is brazing temperature. So uh, the temperature for different metals and alloy that is that has been shown in this diagram. Now the next difference for soldering workpiece do not need to be heated. So here you can see the soldering operation. So here we are not heating the workpiece. So this is nothing but the workpiece right here suppose we want to make an electrical connection. So the base that is nothing but the workpiece. So workpiece is not heated here. Here we are heating the soldering wire. So the workpiece do not need to be heated in soldering. Now the brazing, the workpiece is heated but below the melting point. So here you can see the brazing operation. Here we heat the workpiece. This is nothing but the workpiece, right? So here we heat the workpiece as well as the filler. But we do not heat the workpiece beyond its melting point. In welding what happens? We heat the workpiece beyond the melting point. Whereas in brazing, we hit the workpiece, but not beyond the melting point. Now, next difference for soldering. There is no change in mechanical properties after joining. So, this is the diagram uh, for the welding operation. But just to understand this point, I have incorporated this diagram. So, due to uh, this is nothing but the weld bead. This is heat affected zone and this is the base metal. So here you can see the microstructure of the base metal and the microstructure of this weld bead and heat affected zone that is different. So after welding what happens? The welding operation produces the heat affected zone which is nothing but the part of your base metal. And here the microstructure gets changed and due to which there are defects or there are uh, uh, reduction in mechanical properties we can say because of this heat affected zone but the soldering there is no change in mechanical properties after joining as we are not heating the base metal so there will be no change in mechanical properties after joining now the brazing the mechanical properties of the joint may change but it is almost negligible now the maximum temperature in brazing that is 650 degrees celsius and it do not create a wider heat affected zone so the mechanical properties of the joint may change but it is almost negligible. Next difference for soldering, the cost involved and the skill required is very low. So here you can see the soldering operation. It is very easy to carry out. Any person can carry out easily. So the cost and the skill that is very less in case of uh, soldering operation. So the requirement of cost and requirement of skill that is low. Now the brazing. The cost involved and the skill needed are between the two welding and soldering. So here you can see the brazing operation. It, it requires the skill but not uh, as compared to the welding because welding needs uh, a skilled labor or a skilled welder uh, because uh, it, it is carried out at high temperature and that is why the skill is required. So the cost involved and the skill needed are in between the two that is welding and soldering. Next difference for soldering no heat treatment is required. 
so here also i have added uh, an example of heat treatment so this is nothing but the welded structure and they are subjected to the heat treatment uh, the heat treatment is required in welding because uh, because of generation of residual stresses heat affected zone so uh, we we want to eliminate those unwanted unwanted effects and that is why the heat treatment is performed in welding operation but no such heat treatment is required in soldering operation and for brazing for brazing again no heat treatment is required so this is the difference in between soldering and brazing